What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I find products using Helium 10 and hopefully we could find a good product to sell on Amazon. Now product research, as you know, is the hardest part of the whole process of selling on Amazon. So I like to do these videos because I see a lot of you like these types of videos because it gives you ideas for when you do product research. So that's why I keep doing these. So drop a comment down below on what you wanna see in my next video and I will be looking at those comments. Also by leaving a comment down below, like liking the video and subscribing to my channel, I do a giveaway at the end of every month where I give away my Amazon course or a $100 prize if you already have my course or you don't want it. So the end of the month is coming up. So probably in the next video or the one after that, I will be announcing the winner. So drop a comment down below for a chance to win. All right, so here we are in my computer and we are looking at Helium 10. This is what I use for all of my product and keyword research. As you know, if you watched my other videos, if you wanna check it out, I have a discount code down below or you could try it out for free. And then if you like it, you could always buy it later but this is what I like to use and this is just one of the ways on how you could find products to sell on Amazon so what I like to do is I go to this keywords tab and I like to use this tab because you could really filter out good products by the keyword data and what I mean by the keyword data is we're looking for keywords that have a search volume of over 8,000 monthly searches I typed in 6,000 right here so we want to make around 6,000 a month in revenue everyone will have different amounts that they want to make per month Obviously, we all want to make more, but I put in 6000 there. Price point, I put 10 to $23 because if it's too low, there's not enough room for profit. If it's too high, you need a big budget to sell those products. So if you have a lot of money, you could bump this 23 up to like 100 or $200 and you could sell a higher priced item. And then right here, I have a review count of under 100. Now we want to find products that are not competitive at all. Usually, I like to keep this around two to 300, but for this video, I dropped it down low to see what we could find. And then over here, I put a word count of three. That means we're going to find a keyword with three words in it. So for example, instead of just cheese board, we will find cheese board with tools or cheese board with a cover, um, a keyword that has more than just one word, which most people type in on Amazon. And then down here, since it's around the holidays, I put in Valentine's, heart saint patrick's day and easter and then that is all i did usually i like to use these parts right here the competitor reviews and the competitor revenue that means you find products based on the top sellers that have low reviews or the top sellers have high revenue but in my other videos you could check out how i use those sections of black box and then we're going to hit search and we are going to scroll through these products and usually i'll scroll for a long time but we got lucky here because i saw this product right here you saw my other videos where i did the product research on that product it's like the little fidget popper toy but this is a little different. This is called a simple dimple fidget. Try to say that 10 times fast. But right here, you can see that keyword has over 37,000 monthly searches on Amazon. Again, I like to see the search volume. So I click right here and you could see it could be a trend. So we want to look out for that. Um, it has a big spike. Over 60,000 people were looking for this. And now there's only 37,000 people. Um, and then we're gonna come over here and look, they're making over $8,000 with only three reviews. So whenever I see that, I like to click on that product and see what it is and look at the whole market. So I'm gonna click right here, I'm gonna hit view on Amazon and then pull it up right here. So now that we're on this page, we wanna see the overall market. So I'm gonna run Helium 10 X-Ray and pull up all of the numbers. Okay, so here we are, we got the keyword right here, simple dimple fidget with a search volume of over 37,000 monthly searches. The average reviews, if I got rid of all the sponsored ads and the non-related products are only 14, so that's very low. There's not that much competition on this product. Um, the average revenue is a little low, but you could see like right here, two reviews and they're making over $11,000 per month in revenue. Zero reviews, they just launched and they're making over $2,000 a month in revenue. You get the point. A lot of these sellers have low reviews. There's not much competition and they are doing pretty good revenue. There's good demand. The only thing is if we look at these actual products, they're like keychains. So I'm not sure, maybe you could do different colors or different shapes on these dimple toys. Um, but we're gonna look how much they cost to manufacture because the average price is pretty low. So we wanna make sure that there's enough profit margin. So I'm gonna go right here on Helium 10 X-Ray, click on source on Alibaba, and then we could get a good idea of what these cost to manufacture. So these little keychains like these ones right here, they cost around 59 cents to a dollar a piece. 
and you don't have to order that many so if you wanted to test out the market you could always order a small amount like I always say the less you spend the less risk because you're not losing a ton of money um, but if we come down here look at the larger ones it's like a full-size one they're about two dollars to two dollars and fifty cents each plus shipping on top of that so you're looking at about three to four dollars for one of these and then you have to look at the price that they're selling at which is around fourteen dollars so you have to make sure there's enough margin and run the FBA revenue calculator I'm not going to do that in this video because I don't want to make it too long but that's what you want to do when you find a possible product now another thing I like to do is I come to source on Alibaba I just closed it but let me reopen it um, I'll come down here and let me just pick a random one like this one right here so I'm going to click on it and then I'll come to that manufacturer's um, website on Alibaba but then if I don't want to sell this I'm going to come down here you've seen this in my other videos but I want to repeat it I want to go to company profile and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click view the supplier's website. So now on their website, I like to come to the products and look at all their different options of what they offer, because if they're not offering it on their main page, chances are other people aren't seeing those products. So what I'll do is I'll come down here and I will do, let's see, other toys. And we will come down here like this toy right here. I don't know what that is, um, but they have like different types of these dimple toys. This is like a little toy where the tongue sticks out. So they have different options. You don't have to go with the standard standard one that everyone's selling on Amazon you could click like one of these and see what those are doing on Amazon again I'm just freestyling this product research so who knows if these products are actually good products but it's good to look at the manufacturer's catalog to see what else they offer and that is pretty much it again I'm using the helium 10 black box for this video you don't have to use this product research method I use a lot of other methods out there but I figured that this would be a good video for you to see on how I do product research if you're new to the channel or if you just want to find out different ways and what to type in in these boxes on helium 10 black box and hopefully it helps you find a good product to sell on amazon all right that is it for this video if you haven't already make sure to drop a comment down below on what you want to see on my next video hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you can stay updated with new videos like this every week and if you need help with your own amazon fba business i do offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship so check out all the links down below thanks for watching the video and i will see you in the next one goodbye